Here you can see some of the graduate students who were involved in the project and guided by our professor Sanda katavic -Aushic. The video that you're going to watch is an interview with nine Erasme students. If you want to find out how and why they choose OSIAC, then keep on watching. What is your name and where are you from? My name is Carla and I'm from Mexico. And my name is Emily, I'm from Spain, but I'm originally from Bolivia. My name is Elina Heigamp and I'm from the Netherlands. I'm Laura Mendizabal and I am from the Basque Country. My name is uh, Cosmin Catalin Pona and uh, I am from Romania. I'm Carolina, I'm from Poland. Uh, my name is Julia and I'm from Poland. Uh, I'm Justina and I'm from Poland. Hi, Bob. My name is Filip Terbczewski and I come from Skopje, Macedonia. How did you decide to go on the Erasmus and why did you choose Croatia? Traveled around the east of Europe. By coincidence? Because I wanted to do a project that involves refugees and the project in Osijek was one of the few projects that matched my wishes for the period. I had many, many options, but I just like checked which options were like the best for me and for my career. So consulted uh, with uh, the rest of my friends. Uh, at the beginning, I chose another country, uh, but I couldn't communicate in this university. That's why it's changed so many. Decision was pretty much easy for me since I love to travel. Is it your first Erasmus experience? It actually is. Yes, yes. Yes, this is my first. Yes, it's my first Erasmus. Yes, this is my first uh, experience on Erasmus. Uh, yes. Yes, this is my first Erasmus experience. Uh, what do you expect from Erasmus? At first, I was a little afraid. Be more independent. I heard so many great stories from other people who did an exchange and they told me about how they made new friends, how they visited new places. I'm going to be able to like meet a lot of people and make new friends and obviously like learn a lot. And... I want to improve my language skills. I have no expectation. I never had them. I just wanted to improve my language skills. Obviously, I want to upgrade my knowledge while experience, uh, experiencing a different culture, but I want to redefine myself. What do you think uh, 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 about your new uh, faculty and, uh, and the rest of the students and the staff? People are very kind and uh, the faculty is uh, a very big like construction. And so I'm teaching Dutch at the volunteer center Osijek, where, where I volunteer. Um, and it's really nice to be teaching your own <laughs> language, because it kind of reminds you of home, but the people... And all the teachers, the students have been welcoming and... I think it's great, even though it's a little far from my home, but... What are some major differences between education in your country and in Croatia? I heard that... Uh... The good students, if they want to go to the higher studies, they could work and, uh, as a uh, professor's assistant. And could you use another grade scale? I didn't have like this big cultural shock. Uh, I think in Mexico we don't have like lectures like with. I see that here you have lectures like with seventy students or. In uh, our country, the teacher pushed uh, us, pushing us uh, to study uh, for extra more time. Uh, here is much flexible. We can. I haven't noticed any bigger differences. I think they are pretty similar. The classes in Poland we have only 45 minutes, and here they are a bit longer. What was the biggest cultural shock when you came to Croatia? The biggest shock for me that was it is allowed to smoke cigarettes in bars and clubs. But like food preferences and food. I expected more foreign people in Osijek. Uh, I think the language. Here yeah, people uh, are very kind. In... Definitely slow like here. <laughs> people like so calm and happy, you know. Croatia has its own uh, unique culture. I think that uh, Croatia is uh, the perfect uh, combination of that 
uh, war uh, of that Balkan war mess and that West European service. Uh, have you already visited some other cities in Croatia? Uh, yeah, I was uh, last year to check the Austria how it looks to to uh, my decision. Not yet. Yeah, the actually my second day here, I visited Glina um, for uh, like some kind of a humanitarian aid project. Um, I also went to Požega for a school visit. I, touristical, touristic wise, I've been to Rijeka, to Tres. Split to Zagreb. I just been in Plitvitz, but we are planning to make a road trip around the seaside. Um, I've been in Zagreb, and obviously I'm trying to go to the coast in summer and know like all the beaches and all. Just the uh, principal uh, attractions like uh, Kopatski Rik. I was in uh, Kopatski Rik, uh, Plitvitz Lake, uh, Krik Island. Uh, yes, I have been already in Zagreb, uh, Litvica Lakes, uh, Island, Krka Island, and Kopatski Rit. Yes, uh, I've, I've been to Zagreb, I've been in Rijeka, Shiben in Split, Rovin. Uh, what advice would you give to future Erasmus students? Uh, my, my biggest advice is not to doubt ever whether you should or you shouldn't uh, apply for an Erasmus experience because you have really nothing to lose and a lot to gain. I think that people should just do it. I would say that if you're like from a different country like me, uh, you should like be brave and just take like the lead to come to a, a different country where they don't speak your language and to get to know another culture and another air. And would you recommend Osijek as a potential destination? Yes, obviously I would recommend it. Yes, because I think that uh, here is a really good location also to travel, it's really affordable. It's really... Oh, definitely. I'm really glad and grateful that I had the chance to come to Osijek, so I will definitely recommend it. Um, how much uh, did ESN and their volunteers influence your stay here? Uh, I was so happy at the beginning because I came in February and it was winter time and I was like, oh my God, I'm living by myself, it's so quiet. And, and then I, I, I just uh, saw the post on Facebook like, oh, from years and like, oh yeah, let's do something, let's go somewhere. And there was a day by day and that was perfect. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not going to